Hello everyone, this is Bro Bro Man here, and it's time for another video. And to be more specific, it's time for another series on my channel. Now, this is a new series that I thought. Now, now let me make let me make something very clear. This wasn't my idea. Um, there's a wrestling channel on YouTube that goes by the, by the name of Technical Work Rate Productions, and they talk about wrestling. It's two guys. They both talk about wrestling. Um, and they have a series on their YouTube channel called Top 10 Reasons Why They're Awesome and Top 10 Reasons Why They Suck. Where they go over wrestlers who they think suck or who they think are awesome and they give 10 reasons as to why they have that opinion, right? Now... Even though I'm completely stealing their idea, let me make something very clear. I'm not a fan of these guys. I think their I think their channel is actually pretty shitty. Not gonna lie. Um, while they do have solid like wrestling opinions, they also have a lot of other really whack ass opinions. And uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. That, I'm going really off topic here. The point is, this was not my idea. Um, I will leave a link in the description below. If you want to go check out the channel that gave me this idea, but that's besides the point. So, I'm going to basically be, I'm basically stealing their idea, but doing it with YouTubers, and I'm only going to give five reasons why, as opposed to ten, okay? And the first YouTube channel that I think needs to be, that I think needs to be talked about is Daft Pina, or as I like to call him, Grift Pina, okay? So, these are, these are the top five reasons why Grift Pina sucks so much ass and is legit one of the worst fucking YouTubers I've ever seen in my fucking life. Let's go on with reason number one. Reason number one, this nigga is a, is a greedy piece of fucking shit. Okay, complete, just dollar signs on his eyeballs. Just complete, absolute fucking greed. It's actually absurd to me how greedy this person is. And what, what, what proved this to me was the fact that he made a video on Cosmodor. You know, a fucking pedophile, a child sexual abuser. He made a video shitting on Cosmodor. Now that's fine, but he decided to monetize that video. In other words, he decided to exploit the fact that someone sexually abused kids on the internet for that sweet, sweet ad revenue. Remember when I made that video where I did this very passive-aggressive uh, call-out to YouTubers? I put, you know, that's in quotations, right? Where I did a very passive aggressive call out to YouTubers who decide to exploit this tragic situation for views and ad revenue. Well, when I made that video, I was referring to Daft Pina, and I think most people realized it. The fact that this nigga would do something like that pretty much show it pretty much shows just how greedy this person is and why he's a complete piece of shit, okay? To monetize. Uh, a video where you talk about a person who sexually abused kids. Like, un it's unreal to me. That I wouldn't... Se seriously, in my fucking years of YouTube, I would have never thought of doing something like that. Like, to have this little, like... This, like, to have basically no standards to this degree, it's ridiculous. Anyways, reason number two why Daft Pina sucks, okay? I cannot stand this fucking persona that, unfortunately, I see a lot of commentators do, by the way. So, this isn't just Daft Pina. I see a lot of fucking morons on the internet do this shit. And it's the most aggravating fucking shit imaginable. This persona of, oh, I'm not a bad person. I'm just giving my neutral and insightful critique on this YouTuber, you know, and, and obviously the way I structure my videos, I mean, it's just me giving the most educated critique, like, nigga, 
you're making fucking videos critiquing other people on the internet, okay? You're making videos where your opinion wasn't asked, asked, I can't say that word. Your opinion wasn't requested, okay? Nobody fucking cares, okay? So, if you're gonna be doing this, at least fucking take off the filter and stop pretending to be this fucking armchair philosopher. It is so fucking cringy. I really hate how this is the style that a lot of YouTubers love to play nowadays, right? And and with Daft, it is so fucking, like, it is so fucking transparent. I've met people like him in real life. The, f the way he portrays himself, it is the most passive-aggressive, obnoxious fucking way imaginable. Uh, imaginable. This guy isn't a nice guy, by the way. This person isn't a good person. This guy is probably a complete shitbag uh, in real life, and hell, hey, he's a greedy piece of shit, so it's not like that's too far-fetched, right? But for real, though, I fucking hate the style of video making. It's obnoxious, it's stupid. If you're gonna be a fucking commentary channel, actually showcase some fucking personality, or just get off the goddamn internet. Holy shit, dude. Reason number three why this nigga sucks. The people he makes videos on are some of the most uninteresting, boring fucking tar- Like, the shittiest fucking targets I've ever seen on YouTube. Who- Nigga, who the fuck cares about tracers? Like, oh, somebody traced artwork. Like, who gives a shit? Like, honestly, who honestly fucking cares? Like, they trace artwork. So fucking what? Don't view their artwork. When you make fucking videos like this, all you're doing, uh, shitting on these fucking tracers, all you're doing is fucking getting morons to come from your channel and fucking brigade their fucking, uh, webpage, be like, oh yeah, you're a tracer, yada, yada, yada. And I, look, I don't give a fuck that this guy puts a disclaimer in his videos, by the way, because let's be real here, nobody listens to those fucking disclaimers just nobody does so making videos on fucking tracers is a is not only fucking uh uninteresting it's a waste of fucking time and it just does nothing but give these people pub pub publicity right holy shit uh yeah this guy just makes videos on pointless fucking targets who shouldn't even like who like lit literally nobody with an actual life would give a shit about these people anyways Reason number four why this nigga sucks. The fact that he tries to structure his fucking YouTube channel as if it's like this TV show, like this documentary, like TV show or whatever, it's really hard to describe. But the fact that he tries to structure his videos like that, it's so cringy and so fucking stupid that I legitimately cannot sit through his videos. It's so dumb. It's like... This is the type of fucking shit that this, that killed YouTube, by the way. When you have people who unironically make videos where they take themselves so fucking seriously and structure their videos in the most pretentious way possible. I don't m need to make videos like that. When I make fucking rant videos or you videos shitting on other people, this is what you get. You just get a guy r fucking losing his shit while recording the audio because guess what? I don't need to go and be a fucking pretentious little bitch and make some of the most asinine fucking videos imaginable, dude. Holy shit. Like, I legitimately can't understand how people find this shit entertaining. Like, oh, you structure your shit like a TV show. You're not a fucking TV, like, what is the word? You're not a fucking TV host, okay? You're a fucking YouTuber. Like, holy shit. This is the mentality that killed YouTube, by the way. This is the mentality that killed YouTube. When you have these people who take themselves so fucking seriously and decide to structure their videos in this manner, it's fucking absurd to me. It really is. It's so fucking cringy. Anyways. And that leads me to the fifth and final reason why this nigga sucks. This guy is legitimately one of the most boring, uncharismatic, unfunny fucking YouTubers I've ever seen in my life. This guy, regardless of your opinion on me... Because, to be honest with you, I don't even think I'm that funny, right? And to be fair, he doesn't really try to make a lot of jokes. I'll give him that. So he's not really trying to be funny. So, you know, to be fair. But holy fuck, dude, this guy is so fucking boring. 
He's so uncharismatic. It's so, it's ridiculous to me. The way he talks in his videos, it is the most pretentious fucking way imaginable. It's like, dude, can you fucking emote? Holy shit, why the fuck do you make videos like this? Are you having fun? Really? Or are you? Like, really? Be honest with yourselves. Or be honest with yourself. When, when I make videos... This is what you get. You get someone going off the cuff, being fucking real. This is something that I no one can unironic uh, can unironically uh, criticize me for. What you see is what you get, basically. I don't have to be this fucking uncharismatic goddamn robot making these really shitty fucking videos. I, I just noticed I said the word fucking way too much, but whatever. Anyways. Those are my five reasons why Daft Pina sucks, um, or Grift Pina. The guy's channel is fucking horrendous. I don't understand, like, the fact that someone like this managed to get popular shows just how bad YouTube is nowadays. It re he really does epitomize the shitty commentator. Hey, you know, th fuck it. That's an extra reason. This guy is part of the degenerate as fuck and, like, commentary community, right? This new wave commentary community who make the same type of garbage videos on the same people. Literally the same exact people. Anyways, that's a that's an extra reason for you. So this, I guess, m realistically, is the six reasons why Daft Pina, Daft Pina sucks rather than the five reasons. Um, Grift Pina, if you're watching this video, your channel is fucking horrendous. Please just delete it. Like, <laughs> holy shit. This is the type of nigga who would have a fucking meltdown if, like, a, a nervous breakdown, like a mental breakdown if anything happened to his channel. It's so fucking cringy. But anyways, this is the first uh, video within this series. Uh, let me know your honest opinions on this series, uh, on this video in the comment section below. I know I'm gonna get a bunch of morons, complete just nimrods, okay, commenting on this video in the most aggravating way possible, trying to defend their fucking, uh, their precious YouTuber, that's fine, I pretty much expected it, you know, I, I pretty much expect moronic comments like this. Anyways, that's all I have to say, you morons have a wonderful fucking day, I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye bye.